It is an honor for me to present here the result of the RMS 2005 trials that has been uh, performed by the European Pediatrics of Tissue Sarcoma Group. You have heard Dr. Sparano talking about a very frequent cancer. Now I'm talking about a very, very rare cancer. You can see here the number of new diagnoses per year we expect in the United States and Europe. But here in ASCO, I would like to underline that 40% of all rhabdomyosarcoma diagnoses occur in adults. And with modern treatment, we are able to, treat, to cure up to 70, 80% of children. Uh, our group was founded in 2001, and it includes 14 countries with more than 100 centers. We have been working for over 10 years to perform these trials. And uh, uh, here you see we enroll all patients with high-risk rhabdomyosarcoma up to the age of 21 with no evidence of metastasis at diagnosis. And uh, the standard treatment, it, it is composed by nine cycles of intensive chemotherapy, surgery, and or radiotherapy. And this is what we are using in Europe, and it is very similar in the United States. At the end of this treatment, more than 90% of children have no evidence of tumor, but we know that after, and uh, the idea is that we know that after uh, one year, two years, one third of these children relapse and most of them die. So our idea was to add some more treatment in a special way. You see here the regimen we have adopted is a low dose chemotherapy but much less intensive than the chemotherapy the, these children usually receive with binaurobine given weekly and uh, uh, cyclophosphamide given every day by mouth. So in our trial, we randomize all high-risk randomized sarcoma patients with no evidence of tumor at the end of starter treatment to stop the treatment or to receive a maintenance for six more months. And we, random, we include in this trial 371 children, equally distributed in two arms, and all the clinical characteristics were well balanced. Uh, as expected, the treatment toxicity was low, was much lower in comparison to what we usually see with standard intensive chemotherapy. We had less anemia, less neutropenia, less thrombocytopenia. Uh, we had less in, uh, episode of infection, and we didn't see any important uh, organ dysfunction. And uh, here you can see the results. Patients receiving maintenance uh, treatment had a disease-free survival uh, of 8.8% higher in comparison to those that stopped treatment, and overall survival was even better. We, the children receiving maintenance had a 13% increase on survival. So at the end of this long, not easy study, we uh, concluded that uh, maintenance is a effective and well-tolerated treatment for children with high-risk rhabdomyosarcomas, and our group decided this is the new uh, standard treatment for patients, at least in Europe, we give standard intensive chemotherapy, and then we continue with six more months of low-dose uh, chemotherapy. And we also think that this approach, this new way we are using these old drugs, can be of interest also for other pediatric uh, uh, tumors. Thank you.